guys, Becky here with Creative Fabrica, and I'm super excited to have you join me today because we have another great Cricut project for you. Now, if you like Cricut projects, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because we always have great ideas for you. But today we are using a printable iron-on material to make this cute pocket t-shirt. All right guys, so here we are in Cricut Design Space. Now this is just a blank canvas, I haven't done anything yet, but we are going to upload some images to work with, and then we're going to use the print and cut feature of our Cricut. So really, really awesome stuff going on today. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go to Upload, and I'm going to go to Upload Image. Then I'm going to go to Browse, now in my downloads folder, I have already downloaded and unzipped this cute little animal pocket bundle. And it comes with all of these really cute illustrations for a little faux pocket. And I think that's perfect for the project that I wanna to do today. And I'm gonna start with the sloth, because of course I have already checked all of these out. I think they're all super cute. But this is my little sloth here. I'm just gonna choose complex, and go to continue. Now this is going to be a print and cut image. So I don't want to delete anything here. My background is already transparent. But on this next step, I want to make sure that I choose the print and then cut. Because you see a regular cut image won't give me the detail on my sloth. So print and cut is the way to go because obviously we're going to print and cut. And we're going to go ahead and add that to our recent uploads. Now I'm going to add one more. I'll be honest with you guys, I'm only going to do the sloth pocket, but I just can't stand the thought of only having one image on my print and cut material because this printable iron-on uh, material is not very cheap, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna go ahead and do two. That way I have a two for one and the unicorn is also really super cute. I mean, let's face it, they're all really super cute. So check them out and pick out the, uh, you can choose your spirit animal, there we go. So I'm gonna go to another print and cut. Now I can select them both and go to add to canvas. Now, normally at this point I would tell you, measure your t-shirt, see how large you want your pocket to be, and that is still very, very true. Let's go ahead and size these down though. Let's see, we'll, do, we'll just guess five inches. But what I wanna do today is I want to create a shape, and that shape is gonna be a square. There we go. And because we're using print and cut, I'm going to make a rectangle that is the maximum print and cut size for Cricut. So it's going to be 6.75 inches wide and 9.25 inches high. Okay, there we go. And we'll just change that to white. Oh, you know what? Let me change it to a different color for you guys because I want to show you one difference. And let's zoom out. Now here's what I want to, well, <laughs> Well, after, after I rearrange, all right, send it back. There we go. See how this is gonna cut? It's gonna cut with just the black around the pocket so that it matches the pocket of your shirt. And then it will cut around the entire unicorn design. I just didn't want that to feel misleading whenever I go to weed it because otherwise, if it was just on white, it would appear that you know everything would be white, but it's not. It is a transparent pocket so that it matches the color of your shirt. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these the same width. We're just gonna guess three inches for now. And then I'm going to rotate 180 degrees. So I'm gonna nest these together and then go ahead and, um, and group them. Now let's bring those on top of my uh, little template here. And this is how you would decide how large or small you can make them. Now that doesn't mean you want them this big. I want them big because I want it to be, you know, this isn't your typical pocket. But um, I wanted to make them basically as large as I could to have two to a sheet. Um, so that's what I did is I went ahead and made them as large as I could. But if you want to, we can delete the rectangle now, that was only for sizing. And then if you ungroup them, you can see that, yeah, they only got almost four inches. So that should be fine. Now I'm putting these on a youth shirt for my daughter, um, but you know, I might steal one of these for me, who knows? So let's go ahead and grab both of these. And now, wait, let me let me show you just real quick. When I click over to make it, 
it is going to throw these on two different sheets. Now we know that they're going to fit on one, but it's going to put them on two. So I'm going to hit cancel and then I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to attach them together. Now when I click over to make it, they're both on one sheet and see how it uses the whole sheet. So that's what I was going for. So let's go ahead and click continue and um, I'm going to go ahead and send to printer. Now I just have a basic HP inkjet printer, nothing special about it. I think I got it at Walmart. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and print this out. Now I do have my printable iron on material already loaded in there. So, you know, just make sure that you either have it loaded or walk over and load it. But also if you're new to using print and cut, then go ahead and, and maybe do a trial run on a sheet of paper or a sheet of cardstock because then, you know, you're not wasting uh, your more expensive material. Now, once that's done, I'm gonna go to browse all materials and I'm gonna search for printable iron-on. Now, this is technically the printable iron-on for dark. And the dark means that we're printing on a white material, okay? The printable iron-on for light is actually a transparent material. We're not messing with that today. We're using the dark, it's on white. Um, that way we can put it on color fabric without worrying about the color of the shirt affecting the color of our print. That'll make more sense. I'll do a video for you guys on light material. But now I can just head on over to the Cricut and show you guys what it's like to do a print thin cut. But basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for the ink to dry on my sheet, load it on my mat, and then the Cricut will detect the print and cut outline that's on there. So let's go ahead and head on over and we will see what that looks like. All right, so this is our printed design. All right, and you can notice we have the thick black box around it, just like in the preview. And that's why you have a limited print and cut area because you have to have room for that box. Now, one thing we didn't talk about, and I don't know if you can tell in the photo, but these black lines are much thicker than they were in the original image. That's your print bleed. It's an option whenever you're setting up your um, send to printer area to make sure you have the print bleed turned on. And you wanna do that, that way in case your cut is even just a little bit off, um, it will cut into that black part. You'll see what I mean. I'll show you once the cut is finished. But uh, make sure you allow your ink to dry, smooth it onto your cutting mat, load your mat like normal, and we're going to go ahead and send it. Now what's gonna happen is it's going to Go ahead and detect that thick black line. And like I said, that's what's going to tell the Cricut exactly where to cut. So after that process is done, it's going to go ahead and start cutting our cut lines. All right, so once your cut is finished, go ahead and unload and remove it from your mat. Well, remove part of it from your mat. So usually you get like a kiss cut with this, but it looks like it cut all the way through, which is completely fine. It's not gonna hurt anything, but be careful when you go to remove it, because remember that this is just an outline. So see how your inside pieces are gonna come up? All right, so our black pieces are coming up with the inside, that's okay. We just wanna make sure that we save that. Okay, so there's our basic pockets. And there's our sloth. Okay, so I have my shirt and I have my sloth. Now let me tell you about this type of material. It comes with a backing, okay? So not only do you wanna make sure that all your pieces are weeded off, but you should be able to fairly easily separate the printable from the backing. Now there is, you can use um, like a heat safe masking, which is um, the same as like what you would use for like pattern HTV. But for a simple design like this, it's not really necessary. Once you get it started, you can just peel them apart. So this is our backing, set that to the side. We don't need that. And then let's put our pocket down. Now I go from the collar and um, a little bit below like mid sleeve. Now, of course there are exact measurements, but this is just a shirt for my daughter. I think we're pretty good. And then I just want this black piece 
that looks like a little, I don't want to call it a wrinkle, but you know, a little bit of slack where the, the sleeve or the pocket is. A little bit of slack where the pocket is. Now the instructions say to press this design um, at the same setting as the cotton setting, which I assume is going to be for a home iron. What I'm going to do is just heat press it at the same setting that I would for heat transfer vinyl. So I'm going to cover it up with some butcher paper. I already have my easy press preheated. So I'm at 320 degrees and we're going to press for 30 seconds. Once the press is completed, it should be right there adhered to your shirt. So let's take a look. There we go. Whew. Warm, warm, warm. There is our cute little sloth pocket t-shirt with our printable iron-on material. So guys, how did you feel about our cute pocket shirt? I think it came out just adorable. I mean, the sloth is absolutely perfect. I think it's a great little project and I love it. My daughter's going to love it and hopefully you guys love it too. Now, if you have any questions or comments, definitely make sure you leave those down below. I'd love to hear from you guys and make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, maybe share with a crafty friend so we can keep growing the channel and keep bringing you these really awesome ideas in the future. But I am going to wrap it up for today, guys. I appreciate you stopping by and we'll see you again next time.